Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the U.S. Fertility Network. Today's topic is NSAIDs in early pregnancy and miscarriage. 15% of early pregnancies overall result in miscarriage, with 80% of those occurring in the first trimester. The factors that we know that increase miscarriage risk include obesity, smoking, alcohol, and then by and large genetic abnormalities. Well, what about NSAIDs? NSAIDs are normally non-addictive and safe when taken according to manufacturer's recommendations. They are used during pregnancy for such things as fevers, mild illnesses, aches, pains, inflammatory bowel. They are also sometimes used to delay early delivery for 48 hours up to 10 days. So the risk is that NSAIDs do cross the placenta and may harm the unborn child, or at least it's thought that possibly that could happen. It does depend on the type of NSAID, the dose and duration of therapy, gestational period, and the time between dosing and delivery. The largest study to date was done by Levy and all. They looked at the records of 65,000 patients, and what they noticed is that over-the-counter anti-inflammatories did not increase miscarriage risk any more than the norm. Although prescription non anti-inflammatories, specifically endomethacin and the COX-2 inhibitor Celebrex, were linked to a higher rate of miscarriage. In that study, Aleve and Motrin were not associated with miscarriage and did not cause preterm labor. So the overall risk of miscarriage for women taking prescription anti-inflammatories is 8%. Okay. Now there was another study in the British Medical Journal in 2003 looking at about 1,000 women, and they noticed that prenatal NSAID or aspirin use was associated with an 80% increased risk of miscarriage and it was a stronger association if the initial use was around conception or if use lasted for over a week. So you have two studies, one which was relatively small at about 1,000 women, another one which had 65,000 women, and you can see that one showed no increased risk for over-the-counter, the other one showed a significantly increased risk. So which one to believe? So there are conflicting studies um, with regarding NSAIDs, aspirin, and miscarriage risk. The prudent thing would be to stay away from prescription indomethacin or Celebrex at any time around conception onwards. Over-the-counter use may be okay based on that very large study, but just be sure to discuss it with your physician uh, to see what him or her recommends um, for various uses. The U.S. Fertility Network offers top fertility centers nationwide all of which are members of the American Society of Reproductive Medicine and offer a 15% discount on treatment when you go through the network. Visit us today at usfertilitynetwork.com and then call us at 877-977-2959 today.